I recently saw a video clip on modern work. And, well, I recently saw it. It wasn't new. It was from 1936. It was the great Charlie Chaplin. And it was the movie Hard Work. But in it, he's, on the, he's in this factory. And there's this production line. And work's coming down at a furious stream. And he has to touch every piece of work. And it seems very stressful because it's a very high workload. But he gets in a groove and he seems to be able to handle it until he gets distracted. And he just can't help it. A colleague comes up, interrupts him, and he falls behind. He thinks of an amazing idea for tomorrow and he falls behind. And it's just on the verge of being able to handle this workload and then demand picks up and this thing speeds up and he misses pieces of work, and all hell breaks loose, right? Sirens go off, his boss comes out, he gets yelled at. And that's the industrial age worker, but there are some analogies today to the information age worker with this torrent of communications that are coming from every which direction. And you have to be a ferocious media consumer to keep up with it, you have to stay focused, and if you get distracted by a colleague to help him out, or by an amazing idea, you can miss something. Sirens can go off. Your boss can yell at you. So that's the threat of where we're at today. So how did we get here? And what are the opportunities to move through this? Technology has been a big part of this. Just think, in the last 10 years with mobile compute, how our work has changed, how we're working remotely, we're working in distributed teams, and we're working globally, and we're working on any device. And this has created what I call the always-on workforce. We used to have segmented between work, life, and or work and home, and that's blurred. In fact, it's actually, it's happened so gradually that you have to see the opposite to realize where we've been. Have you gotten that? It always amazes me when I get that out of office response, and it says, hey, I'm going to be on vacation for a week, which is great. But then it's followed by, and I'm going to have very limited or no access to internet. I'm like, really? Where are you going to vacation? Because I'd like to go there. So that's how technology's changed the workplace. Ring Central, we did a survey of 2,000 knowledge workers, and there's some issues that are cropping up with that. One, we found individuals are wasting an hour a day flipping between 10 different apps. And that's even four communication apps that they're using on a daily basis. And if you do the math, that hour a day, that's like 32 days a year. So, man, if you can claw that back, maybe there's that vacation that you can get away from the internet from. Um, additionally, enterprises are having a hard time dealing with that complexity of all these applications that are growing up in the business. In fact, 76% of those enterprises were worried they're not gonna be able to keep up with the complexity going forward. So we've really officially entered what I call app overload. And you know, McKinsey did a CIO survey that said enterprises expect, on average, to deploy 25 mobile apps over the next two years. Which, on the surface, that sounds like a lot, until you think, oh my goodness, there's 2.2 million apps in the App Store, right? So are we really keeping up? In that same survey, we looked for some answers, right? And one thing people identified as a potential solution was two out of three employees felt like they'd prefer to get to a single communications platform. And you may say, hey, is this baseball and apple pie? But they had some good reasons for it. They felt it was going to increase their productivity. They felt that it would allow them to get better control of their work. Felt, they felt they'd save time. And I think most importantly, or most telling, they felt that it would allow better communication with their colleagues, better connection with their colleagues. So in looking at a single communications platform, what would that look like? 
And we think there's three critical things. One is we have a bunch of disparate communication apps today. And you need to unify that experience. We think of those as like the PBX, team messaging, video meetings, contact center. So one, we need to start, stop working in different applications and think of unifying that experience so we can get the whole organization together. The other, second thing, is it needs to be both global and open. And why is global important? Because every other app we deploy today is centrally managed and globally deployed, but the communications environment hasn't been that way historically. Relying on phone companies or carriers to deploy in different countries, and you always had to source multiple vendors, one in each country, and you didn't have a unified experience, and you couldn't manage this centrally. So that needs to change. And the other is it needs to be open, because we have so many applications. Gartner says by 2021, half of all enterprises will be an all-in cloud architecture. So they're bringing on multiple applications that are the re uh, record for the different departments. So each department, you think about sales and support, they're working in a CRM. You think about marketing, they're working in a marketing automation tool. You think about HR, they're working in HCM. So on and so forth. So a communications platform, a single communications platform to be effective, needs to bring these disparate groups together and needs to fit into their workflows. So that's why open becomes critical to connect into the different ways the organization's working today. So those are the three things, a unified experience, global and open, we think are critical for a single communications platform. So let's look at maybe some examples real world. So from a unified app experience, taking a mobile-centric PBX, cloud PBX is the only way to address those mobile distributed needs, but then adding in the ability to contextually work with team messaging and collaboration. This is something RingCentral has done today. This is something that our users have this today, team messaging, collaboration, cloud PBX in one application. But our customers keep asking for more. So now they're asking to integrate video and web meetings. So take three disparate apps, bring them into one application, which we're working on due by summer. But the idea is these areas are converging. And why is that important? Well, if you look at a company like Structural, specialty consulting, uh, construction services with thousands of employees who have very different types of employees with technicians, project managers, architects back at corporate. They're working on job sites around the country. Sometimes you listen to Jason Kosh, the C CIO, up on nuclear cooling towers 30 feet in the air. But they're working on a unified single communications platform that's allowing them to collaborate, solve problems real time, to address issues, and improve overall productivity. Another area to unify the experience that's just starting is to bring the contact center together with the rest of the communication platform. So here's a real world example where Ring Central's brought collab announced collaborative contact center last week, which unifies some of the contact center aspects with team messaging collaboration by taking an agent group, syncing that into team messaging and collaboration dynamically, which allows you to push out training to agents, as well as allow agents to access experts. And we're connecting these also through Pulse. And Ring Central Pulse is a smart notification engine that allows you to deploy intelligent bots for alerting. So the way that works is it allows you to select any of up to 100 KPIs in your, data, in your contact center, 
set a threshold for alerting, frequency, and information you want to know, and then set a notification, individual or team or both. And that really starts flattening the organization, as this used to only be available to a shift manager with his head in the console. But now you can get it to the site manager, to the head of support, the head of IT, or even the CEO. As far as global, an important part of not now relying on a phone company is how are you managing your internal network? Because it's very heterogeneous with your cloud service provider, with your own LANs, and with all your ISPs. Let's take a look. What we're doing is exposing a lot of the information. If you think about it by having phone, soft phone, mobile, conference rooms, there's more than three times the employee's number of devices reporting back information on your network. And let's look and see what we're doing by exposing that. Play the video, please. Let's take a look at the RingCentral QoS Analytics dashboard. At a glance, administrators can view voice quality for their entire enterprise. Administrators can also view aggregate voice quality by call volume and by time of day, providing valuable insight into network performance, especially when call volumes are high. Suppose you are troubleshooting an issue for a specific user. RingCentral QoS Analytics also lets administrators quickly filter by name, extension, or other parameters in order to zero in on problematic calls. Let's take a look at an administrator diagnosing a trouble ticket. In this example, we see information from both the caller and the callee, with detailed information on the connections to and from Ring Central. The administrator can see that the caller had a spotty internet connection to Ring Central, with high packet loss and jitter. This insight helps the administrator eliminate unnecessary troubleshooting steps to focus on the caller's ISP. With QoS Analytics, administrators can also see voice quality for the entire organization, measured by Mean Opinion Score, or MOS. The new MOS performance dashboard adds another dimension for admins to actively manage enterprise voice quality. The QoS Analytics dashboard is available today for administrators of RingCentral Office accounts. So why is that important, right? Think about PAC Dental Services, one of the largest aggregators of dental offices in the country and have acquired these either through acquisition or through affiliation, everyone with a different network, a different ISP. And David Baker, the CIO at Pac Dental, says this gives them information at fingertips which would have taken a network engineer two days to get information on. So then the third thing that was open and being able to integrate into your other business applications. So one thing, We've been working several years very hard at the Connect platform, and it's been exploding. It's more than doubling at this point year over year. And we have over 1,000 certified applications, many of which are in the App Store, which you can see scrolling here, that are apps that you can reuse free of charge that integrate with your communications platform and your other business applications, as well as we have 10,000 developers on the platform. And imagine multiplying your IT developer effort by 10,000 and being able to better connect your organization. A company that's doing this today, Tough Shed, great company, great brand. They do barn sheds, garages. They have over 120 factory direct locations. And they have a very diverse organization. They have a distributed sales force that some of it's working in some of their key retailers like Home Depot. They have centralized support. They have headquarters locations. They have distribution centers. And they brought everyone onto a single communications platform to improve communications between those groups, as well as they've linked it into like, their CRM for their sales and support, which happens to be Salesforce. And they're doing single sign-on with Okta. So it's not just structural and pack dental and tough shed, but we're seeing these types of advantage of a single communication platform being utilized by companies in hospitality, healthcare, nonprofit, government, manufacturing across the board. So we talked about those issues that we found with the users having productivity and wasting time, and the idea of getting 
as one opportunity to improve that, getting to a single communications platform to increase productivity, and for the organization to better manage complexity by having something that's global and open. And this is our vision of the industry of where we need to go. And why is that important? Well, it's something we've been working towards. And we've been recognized by several organizations. Gartner, for several years, is a leader in the Magic Quadrant. Frost & Sullivan, for several years, and IHA's Marquis. And this has helped drive, as we move down this vision, to become the largest cloud provider, over $500 million in revenue, and growing still nicely at 34% year over year. So this is one opportunity to bring users onto a single communication platform to help keep today's information age worker not look like the Charlie Chaplin worker of the past and something that we're working towards. And we're not there, we're not done. I, we think the industry still has a long ways to go to reach this vision. Um, but along the way, we get a nice quote like this from Dave Michaels. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks hey, very much, Dave. So quick question, you, and this is a variation that I've asked uh, several of your peers or competitors in the UCAS world. You described this sort of converged and, and uh, holistic platform. Uh, what, what's a realistic expectation for when enterprises can get there based on the heterogeneity they've got now and the, the roadmap they've got to travel? Yeah, no, it's a great question. And it's how do you get there from here, right? And we're seeing a lot of adoption already in, in all, all of these categories that we're playing in with team messaging, video, the cloud PBX, and contact center. And what we're seeing is sometimes adoption's getting ahead of the IT organization, and they're having to catch up. Other times, they're selecting as they're trying to get to the all-in cloud enterprise to target one of those after another. So we're getting a lot of people moving to cloud PBX, but by doing a unified platform, the idea is you can onboard one of these solutions at a time, and then over time, add to it across the organization. OK, great. Uh, well, Dave, thank you very much. Dave Sipes from Thanks. Ring Central. Appreciate your, your thoughts.